What's up everyone? Thanks for joining me. If this is your first time, uh, welcome. I am training for the Boss of NorCal meet, USAPL meet in Mountain View, California. This is my third week of meat prep. Um, as I mentioned in the last video, this is a, week was a bit of a deload. Now a deload for me, um, at least this time, isn't dropping a ton of volume and intensity. Um, I figured that I can keep the uh, top sets heavy. But all I, what I ended up doing was just dropping all of the accessory work, all the hypertrophy, hypertrophy work, um, so that I could actually recover a little bit. And so I still um, progressed as I figured I would. Um, still got all of my uh, normal barbell work done. Um, and just like I said, dropping out that accessory work allowed me to recover and um, didn't keep, or kept me from... Um, drive myself into the ground. Uh, so this week um, on pin press here, I worked up to uh, 215 for four. Um, that was plus one rep from last week, and that's how the progression goes for all of these um, max effort work li lifts. Um, and then I finished off with uh, four sets, or five sets of four with 195. These all went fairly well, although it did feel um, pretty rough towards the end. Um, but I did get through it, so this of course is targeting my weak point off my chest. Um, it's very, it's very clear that that's my weak point from watching my last um, heavy single that I did. Um, I'm gonna keep these in the rotation throughout the whole meat, meat prep, um, but after uh, another mesocycle of these as my max effort work, they will be cycled out and replaced with um, another variation. Um, but I will keep these in as an accessory because it's always important to work on your weaknesses. So moving on, these are high bar squats. Um, and working on doing these to obviously target my, my quads and um, as a harder form of squats. Working up to a top set of uh, 345 for four this week. These felt fairly good. Um, they did feel pretty rough, although because of the high fatigue load towards the end, but as you can see, they're all moving pretty quick. Um, here's the top set. This isn't by any means a PR. I believe my PR was 385 by 4. However, I am at a um, lighter body weight now. I'm about 20 pounds lighter, so all in all, this is a pretty good performance. Everything um, considered, the uh, volume work was 315 for... Um, five sets of four, just like the pin press. Um, these were okay, getting a little sloppy there in those reps, but uh, um, made it work. Um, my high bar squats actually don't look all that different from my low bar squats. Uh, positioning obviously is a bit different, um, but my femurs are fairly short for someone uh, for a squatter, so um, they tend to look fairly similar, although they still are more difficult, obviously, because um, the bar is farther away from your hips. It's There's a bigger moment on your back, and so um, you have to fight more to stay upright. Um, you have to use more of your quads to uh, accelerate the bar upwards. Um, and my quads, compared to my hamstrings, are a bit more weak, so uh, it's always good to work on those. Um, and I've seen these this translate very well to my low bar squat, and so uh, here's hoping that we end up with a, a fairly good result at the meet. Um, I will be doing another cycle of these, just like with the pin press, and before I start to cycle into a bit more specific variations. So uh, moving on to my speed days. Um, this is bench, obviously, pausing it. Um, the only real criticism I had th uh, here was that I think um, my elbows could have been more in front of the bar because I think as it gets heavier it's going to be a bit harder to drive upwards if um, the bar is slightly farther or slightly um, in front of my uh, elbows so that's something I'll be working on going forward. These all went fairly fast even with the pause. Um, some of these the pause was a little bit less than um, I would have liked but um, all in all, pretty happy with uh, the speed work. Just doing this for some volume. Um, 
and uh, to practice um, good technique. That's really what my uh, speed, in addition to uh, conditioning, because I'm doing these uh, with one minute rests. So um, finishing up with feet up bench, and this is, puts a little bit more range of motion, works the pecs a bit more. Uh, also, stability, it works stability a lot because it's very difficult to kind of balance and um, you know, hold the weight in your hands when you're doing these. For my uh, what would be speed squats, it was 390 for six sets of two. Now I ended up not actually using short rest periods here. I, I kept the rest longer because I was feeling kind of tired and uh, this is fairly heavy, um, at least from what I've done so far this cycle. Doing a bit of a depth, depth check here, but everything look, is looking good, so I'm not really worried about depth moving forward. Um, you'll see as these go, um, they uh, start to slow down a lot. But overall, I'm actually pretty happy. Uh, one thing that was kind of going weird was uh, that I noticed my hips were... Or I, I was putting more emphasis on my left hip, I believe, during these. So I believe that had something to do with my SI joint. Um, so going to always going to keep that in mind, and hopefully um, as the weight drop back down, I don't notice any more of that hip shift because that could be bad moving forward. Um, but all in all, these work went pretty well. Um, and I finished up with Bella squats after those heavy squats, 335 for five sets of three, or sorry, three sets of five. Um, and these actually felt pretty awful um, beltless after all that heavy work, but I'm fairly certain that uh, going to strengthen my core and really contribute to a, a big squat at the end. So this is on Saturday, my deadlifts. Um, I dropped all uh, accessory on this day. Um, and these were, again, sets four. Um, main thing I was thinking about is holding position, and that sort of means for me keeping my knees forward and so my, my hips don't fly up as the bar leaves the ground. Um, and I'm doing a lot better with that. And of course, these are de uh, deficit deadlifts as well, so it's even more important to hold position, um, uh, and which will ho hopefully tra uh, translate to a bigger off-the-floor deadlift. Um, and I'm really liking how this positioning is looking. So um, I've got high hopes moving forward. Deadlift has always been my tougher lift. Um, I've always had a lot of trouble holding a good back angle. But uh, so far, I'm pretty happy with these. Are, what these are doing so far, and this is actually a PR, 385 uh, for four, from a. Uh, it might be a two-inch deficit. It's off of a 45-pound plate, so whatever measurement that actually is. But as you, as you can see, keeping the knees forward fairly well, and that's really what I'm aiming to do. So all in all, it was a good week. A bit of a deload, but uh, got the work done. So. Thank you all for watching, um, and stay tuned for next week as we continue on in the meat prep.